Good morning, happy Friday, it's Natasha, and I am here to show you another thrift haul. Uh, today is Friday, so I'm filming this one day late. Yesterday was Thursday, which here in Arizona means it was dollar day at my local thrift, and right there, and right here in beside me on both sides is the items I'm going to show you today. I got some really great items yesterday. I actually got to knock off two items off of my Bolo wish list, which was super exciting. And if you're new here, my name's Natasha. I am a reseller on platforms like Poshmark, eBay, Facebook, Macari. I also just recently started selling items on Amazon. I also send things into ThreadUp. I also do videos on um, MS because I have MS. And then I am going to be doing cash stuffing videos as well. So that's just me. So let's just go ahead and get into the haul. I got 82, I spent $82. I did get, I think, three items that were not a dollar. I have to be honest, I didn't count how many items I got. Um, I will probably leave it in the bottom, in the description of this video after I get done filming um, so that I can just let you know exactly how many items I got all together, but I did pay $82. And I live in Arizona. I believe only Arizona and California actually have dollar days at their local thrift. And on top of that, we also get a monthly 20% off um, on regular priced items that you can actually use on dollar day on the items that are not a dollar. So I got to use that yesterday as well. Um, if you also don't know, I, in the last year, moved from Colorado to Arizona so I'm super excited about that difference in thrifting um, at our, our local Goodwill so without further ado I will just get started um, there was only after going through everything when I got home last night there's actually only one item that had stains on it that I will actually need to treat I will probably wash most of these items I got a few items that were new with tags. I didn't see any um, any stains or tears on any, on those items. There is a little bit of a glare because I have my French doors open this morning. It's just easier for my dogs to go in and out. This was one of the items that I thrifted. I rarely keep anything for myself, but I really just like this, so I washed it. And I just like this. It's just a basic sweatshirt, tie-dyed sweatshirt, and I kept this one for myself. So. This is, uh, one of my goals for myself yesterday was to try to find, um, obviously we're going into fall, it's not really fall here yet in Arizona, but I was, to, my, my goal was to try to find sweaters, sweatshirts, and, um, pants, and I was successful in doing that. So, my first item was Chico's size three which is an extra large this is the one item that I'm going to have to treat stain treat because it does have a stain on the front but it was very nice I don't really get Chico's that often because it doesn't really sell that well in my closet and I'll li leave a link to my closet I'm gonna have to shut this I think my Poshmark closet is at Mother Spears 30. And some of these items are already listed. And I'm going to get some of them listed tonight, today as well. So there's that one. Um, I'm not going in in any order. Um, I did take most of the tags off. So yesterday's tag was the pink tag was the dollar tag. This is a T... Tahari, which I know is the lower uh, line for Tahari. This is a faux wrap dress. It's like a midi. But here's the 
I know that faux wrap dresses and then I also know that the animal print is in style. I really wish, one thing I think I'm going to in the new year is to try to um, learn more about dresses because I think that I am leaving behind really good name brand dresses just because I just, that's not something that I really know much about. Here's another pink tag, it's We The Free. <clears throat> And again, uh, all pink tags yesterday were a dollar, because yesterday was dollar day. And I haven't even looked this one up yet. It's just an oversized, it's a size medium. And this is one of the uh, new tags shirts, and I'm debating on if I'm going to uh, keep this shirt. I don't really ever keep anything for myself. I think that's something that all resellers kind of do. It has a really cool print on it. They always wait to see how much you can actually get for it, resell it for. This is a, I got torrid dresses yesterday. I know we're not really in dress season, but as you know, as a reseller, there's always a, there's always somebody looking. Just trying to, again, this is Torrid, size two. And it has the, uh, there you go, you can see that where you can adjust it. I think that's along the waist, which is the, just a cool detail. It's got like a ribbed uh, detail on it. You can see that in the, like a jersey almost, jersey material. Here's another sweater. And I've never heard of this uh, Ashley by 26 International. Never heard of this brand before. Size so large. Just a uh, hooded long um, sweater. It's got pockets. And then here is another dress. And it's uh, made in the USA, which I know is always good. And it's by Geely. And again, I haven't looked these up yet. And this is a maxi dress. It goes all the way down. It's great detail. So it's a, like a plunging neckline. It has open back. Like crochet detail there. Very cute. Again, I haven't looked it up. It's a maxi dress. I'm just going to stand up to try to block. And then this is a po uh, Lauren Ralph Lauren uh, blazer. In really good condition. Nike uh, dry fit shirt. Just blank. Here's the tag. J. Chill. This is just very cute. It's extra small, but it just looked so cozy has pockets here and then one of the pockets has this one has a double pocket and this one is going up here probably as you're watching this video it should be going up in my closet and this is a Brooks Brothers 
This is a Sapima cotton, 100% large. And I don't know, I'm pretty sure that this is a men's sweater vest. Next one is, maybe you've heard of this brand, Wool and Bloom. Super soft cowl neck black sweater. Very nice. And it's, I don't think that it's anything important. Stinking dogs. Uh, it is just uh, 50, actually it is 3% um, wool and then other materials. 52% acrylic, but it's super soft. Very nice. And then this one, I just love the the print on this. It is Neiman Marcus. And it is a size small and it is 100% acrylic. And again, this one, it will be going up today. Um, this is a J. Crew, like a woman's business uh, button down top. It is by the brand, never heard of this, Haberdashery by J. Uh, Refined J. Crew. I'll have to look that up. And this is one of, I know that it's uh, not the best one, but I've never found Missoni before. But this is uh, exclusively for Target. I know that this isn't the greatest one, but when I looked this up too to find the uh, comps for it, this is actually for, um, it says it's for men. Mm, I, I don't know. It doesn't really look like a men's sweater, but that's what it says when I look up comps for it, so... If you know any different, just let me know. But it's Missoni, and it's cotton, rayon, and 9% wool. So that was one of my bucket list brands, Missoni. And this one, I just like the cut of this shirt. I just really like the sleeves. It's very cute. It would look very nice with some frayed skinny jeans with some um, some booties and maybe a really cute hat for winter I just thought it looked really nice here's the back and this will go up today in my closet just really nice here's the brand I've never heard of it before but again it was um, it's called Bridget Bridget Brianna made in the USA and it is medium and it is polyester rayon spandex there's that one and then I like really like the new cabbie uh, tags I really like finding this I know people, some people really don't care for cabbie, but I just, I really like having the new tag cabbie items in my closet. And this is called the slip dress. And this is, this is already in my closet. Sorry for the dogs, guys. Sorry about the dogs. Um, and I don't really usually get apartment nine items. However, this one was super thick. I liked the print on this one, and it's a sweater, open front, long cardigan, and it is new with tags, and it's extra large, so for all those reasons, I decided to get it, and it was a dollar. It's so, it just seems like it would be warm. Guys, I'm just going to keep going. They see things out front. But it's like a camo print and it just feels really warm. And I got this one because I just like the full.
floral print floral print on it I just really liked it and it's just a woman within shirt I thought I would just take a chance on it I just think it would be a great layering piece underneath a um, jean jacket for the fall season I just thought it would look nice with some boots and this is a size 26 28 or 2x I just really liked it and then just the button sleeve it's a three-quarter and it has button detail I like I just enjoyed it and I I usually don't get this in Klein. I don't really usually pick that up either, but this is a silk. I believe it was 100% silk. Okay, 57% silk, 43% cotton. I knew it just felt really nice when I picked it up. I just think this would be a great career piece. And I just really like the print on it as well, so I, I think it might do well in my closet and here is another cowl neck sweater by um, RD Dakota is it RD Dakota? RD style I just thought this was a very nice um, piece for fall and it has some um, detail, great detail, going down the front. So, I picked that up. And I don't think that it has any, it's extra large. I don't think there's any special, let's see. It is acrylic and cotton. So, I picked that up. Let's see here. So this is the other item that I got to um, knock off of my bucket list. This is a sweater by Equipment Femme. That was something that I've always wanted to be able to pick up from the thrift. This was one of the pieces that was not a dollar. It was four dollars. However, I still thought that was a great price. And this it was, this is available in my closet now. This is silk and cashmere. Zero flaws great great piece amazing so I picked that up um, let me get through the rest of the shirts and then we'll transition to um, I can actually have another stack over here so we'll get through the the shirts and the dresses and then we'll go to jeans and then I got three pairs of shoes so this was the vintage piece that I got look at the detail on that the front there great for just a teacher or I don't know I just think that this was pretty awesome and it's a full zip vest great embroidery and I believe this is it's a wool blend never heard of that before I have to do some research on that but it was a dollar I had seen this last week and I loved it and I'm was just glad that it was still available and I seen this there to, uh, yesterday and I knew that it was probably something pretty good so I did a Google image search while I was there and I seen that it had sold on eBay for $35 this was vintage 1970s women's golf um, shirt it has a bunch of embroidered um, golf images and scenes on it. And it's by Andrew Agenti. It's 100% acrylic. It's a night vintage 1970s. You're not going to be able to see because it it's yellow. Yellow on yellow. But it's a 1970s vintage golf shirt. So I got that. Um... I've never heard of this brand. I just really liked the um, the print on it. It's just an open front cardigan. It says crosses on it. Black and white. And it's by Hot Ginger. And it doesn't have any just a polyester spandex blend size large 
And then I have some pieces over here. Um, my husband's decided that he wants to start listing in his closet again. So I have got him some men's pieces. But this is a, a We The Free shirt. This is women's. And I haven't looked it up yet. But it's an oversized shirt. It is a size um, medium. Definitely could fit a large. I don't see. It's a cotton. Oh, it's a cotton linen blend. So that's what that is. And, and then I got, this doesn't have any um, actual brand on it, but I've sold something similar to this in my closet before with this style print on it. And it sold pretty fast by the brand Venus. So I thought I would just try it for a dollar. It has um, pockets in it, but I, there is zero brand on it. So it is a, a medium. So it's just a maxi dress. And then I found this. This was uh, also another dollar. It was $5. I know this brand sells for quite a bit of money. Like several hundred, could go for several hundreds of dollars. It's in perfect condition. And it, I know you probably can't see, but it has printed Escada all over the inside of this. Beautiful. Um, and this is wool and silk. That's the... I know you could probably see that. Um, I'm really probably... I'm not going to do anything with this. I didn't do a very good job of inspecting this. This is a torrid dress or um, shirt, but it is pretty beat up. So I'm probably just not going to do anything with this. So we'll put that to the side. Rugrats shirt. I love it. Um, I think I have one more torrid dress here. Yeah, this is a torrid size one dress. And again, this is a long maxi dress. And it, so it has lace detail here at the top. On the front and the back. That has additional lace detail uh, around the waist area and then it goes all the way, drapes all the way down to the bottom. Okay, so now this is the men's. I got four shirts for men. This is a J. Crew, um, J. Crew flannel. And I'll leave information for my husband's closet. He's just getting started again, but I'll leave his information at the bottom too. And then this is um, Gutter Ridge. This is Cotton Silk and Cashmere Black Label. Never heard of it before, but it was in great condition. This is a Columbia men's shirt. I just thought, the, it, for one, it's Columbia. It was a dollar. It has great graphic detail on it. It's navy blue and white. And then the last piece for him is Tommy Bahama. And this is, I believe, I can't remember. This is a silk and cotton blend shirt. So there's that. So those are done. I'm going to show you the three pairs of shoes that I got before I show you the pants because I have a probably about 10 pairs of pants. So here's the first pair. I'm having trouble finding any comps on these. I think these are probably vintage. If anybody has any detail on these, these are London Fog. I believe they're considered duck boots, but they're, these would be the, um, the slip on. 
These are the slip on duck boots or duck shoes, they're size 10. Um, they just really just need to be cleaned up. I don't see really anything wrong with these. So if you, if anybody has any information on these, please just leave it in the comments below. And then I got these two pairs of shoes. Um, David Tate. They have the zero wear on them. They're size 13. They're like an off-white. They're an off-white. They are already listed in my closet. They're size 13. Adjustable zero wear on the bottom. And the same thing here. I'm pretty sure that probably the same person donated them. These are by the by the brand Propit. P-R-O-P-E-T. Again, size um, 13. And there is the, the brand logo right there. And these are like a sand, sand beige color. But again, no signs of wear on these either. And these are also available in my closet. All right, so now we're just get to um, all of the jeans. So yesterday was a great jean day. So these are the first pair. Um, Mountain Hardware. I've picked up Mountain Hardware, probably anything else you can think of, but I've never seen Mountain Hardware actual jeans before. So these are size four. They're in perfect condition. They're like a um, an army green color. And these are already in my closet available. And I got several pairs of American Eagle jeans. So these are American Eagle Super Stretch um, Highest Rise Leggings in black, size 18. And they always have the, what they are, listed on the inside too. And minimal signs of wear. And then I think these probably were somebody else cut these off, but these are Miss Me mid rise. Uh, they're supposed to be uh, easy crop, size 26. So I got those. These are some page jeans. These are the Hockton Ultra Skinny, these are size 27. And then tells you what they are right there and unless I say that they have been listed they still have not been listed yet Let me shut this. hopefully that's better okay here's another pair of American Eagle these are the a AEO denim um, kick boot this is a size 4 short Super stretch. All of these are in perfect condition. All of these were a dollar. Another pair of American Eagle. High rise skinny stretch. These were a size size six. And then I took a chance on these. I know that uh, some embroidery on jeans is coming back. I think it changes all the time, but these are baby fat, size seven. There's the embroidery. But these also have uh, the zipper on the bottom of the jeans. These are in perfect condition as well. And then uh, I have never heard of new, uh, Not Your Daughter's Jeans and Chico doing a collab together. Have you ever heard of that before? These are size 16. 
And these are a skinny. I just thought oh, that was pretty cool. They have a pretty cool print on them. Almost done here. A couple more pairs. These are cabby. These are already listed in my closet. And I'm sure you already know that all cabby items have the style number written on the inside on the tag where you can find the um, fabric content. They also have the style number written. So when you Google, do a Google search, you can just type in cabby and then the style number and you can find additional information about all those items. So here, here those are. in great condition. And all of my items, when they're listed, they will always have condition and all of the measurements, waist, waist, rise, hips, and inseam. Michael Kors. These are the Izzy Crop Skinny in pink. And they're cotton and elast elastane. And they are a size 10. And again, they have their the type of pant that they are in in the uh, inside the the wow the waistband. Sorry about that. In great condition, no stains, nothing. And I kind of looked these up yesterday. I've never heard of them before, but they just you know when you pick up uh, an item and they just are good quality. Uh, these look like they have a really good resale value. Mist Chic, and they're made in the USA. But they, they look like they, and they have really cool designs on the back of all of their jeans. Oh, and they are a size, they're size nine. Okay, a couple more pairs. These are a size, oh these are, I couldn't find it for the longest time, but I think this is a new, the new White, white House Black Market uh, tag. But these are the Slim, size 14. Um, jeans. They seem like they're in really nice condition. They do have a little bit of wear between the legs from th thigh rub. And then two more pairs of American Eagle jeans. And these are Next Level Flex Slim. These are a size 2628. So I don't know if these are men are these men's I'm not sure I have to look it up but maybe these are men's I'll have to do research or you guys can let me know and then the last pair and these are AEO denim high-rise let jegging uh yeah jeggings size 2 items from this haul um, already listed in my closet sorry got a little close there so I I am going to get quite a few of these items listed today and um, right now I do have a 3 for 25 sale going on in my closet anything that has a little puppy dog in the um, title is included I'll probably add more items to that um, as the day goes on um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul and I hope you guys have a great weekend and I will have another one for you maybe next week. I am.
going to Colorado to su surprise my dad for his 60th birthday and I leave on Thursday so maybe I'll put one up before I leave and just schedule it for Friday I'm not sure but I hope you guys have a great weekend and we will see each other again soon talk to you later bye